So you're looking to hire a videographer or a photographer and you're just like, Hey Bob, it's Wally. Can you do me a photo shoot tomorrow? Ah, oh, that's wicked, mate. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys, Charles here from JPAD UK. I'm the event photographer that's moving into the corporate world and working between business to business. So you're not the next Bob or Wally. I've got a little hint for you and five little tips to help you along the way. Basically guys, put a brief together when you're getting in touch with a photographer or a videographer. And what this should include is these five points. So number one, what's your goals? What's your desired reaction? What's your target audience? Let the photographer or videographer know exactly what you want to get out of this shoot so they have a better understanding. So number two, is clarify roles. So if you want to have people in the photos or in the films, then make sure they know exactly what they're doing, what they're wearing, what they're required to have that day for the filming to happen. Also make sure that if you need to, then have model releases in place just to keep all the paperwork intact and make sure it don't come back and bite you in the ass, basically. Number three, logistics. Where are you gonna be doing the shoot? Are you going to be doing it from your office, from your warehouse? Are you going to need a location that you need to go to? All of this, include it, helps the photographer and videographer know exactly where they're going to be, what time they need to be there, and how it's going to go throughout the day. Number four, image use. How are these photos and film going to be used? So you've got in touch with your photographer or videographer, whoever you're going to use, and because you've had a spare of the moment thing going, oh, I want a photo for an editorial. But in fact, could this actually be repurposed and used across other things and other platforms? So have a think about that and how you want those images to be used. Number five is deliverables. How would you like to receive the files? Would you want raw files? Would you want edited files? Would you just want both? Maybe have them all because they're at the end of the day, they're all assets to your company. So make sure you put that in there and then also put in the delivery date of when you expect these photos to be delivered by. So I hope this helps when you're putting your next photo shoot together. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. More than happy to help. See you later, guys, and have a good week. Bye.